Welcome to the Cohen Simulation 222 Startup Tutorial. Starting the 222 is easy, and I will teach you how. In this tutorial we'll be using the 222B. You can find the checklist on the clipboard, or by using the Aave tab and navigating to the Manuals folder. You can also access the PDF file located in the Manuals folder inside of the 222 main directory. For this video we will be taking some shortcuts on checklist to get the helicopter flight ready as quickly as possible. Now let's flip on the batteries and get started. The very first thing you'll want to do is make sure your rotor brake is off. Simply pull the handle all the way back until you hear it lock into place. Notice that the brake lights on the caution panel are now off. Fuel valve for engine number one. Fuel primer for engine number one. Now let's do the same thing for engine number two. Number one and two hydraulic switches on. Seat belts. No smoking. Anti-collision lights on. Position lights on. Now we are ready to start. Always make sure that you didn't forget step number one by ensuring that the rotor brake is indeed released. After pressing the start switch for engine number one, you will want to focus your attention to the NG gauge, here. Once NG reaches 11 to 12%, then open the throttle for engine number one, all the way up to the idle stop. Be sure your MGT gauge does not exceed 832 degrees Celsius for more than 12 seconds. If the engine fails to start within 15 seconds, then press the abort start switch, located in the center of both engine start switches. All clear. NG has now reached 11 to 12%, so now we can introduce fuel. Now we are ready to turn on inverter number one, and generator number one, as well as the bus interconnect for battery number one. Turn off fuel prime for engine number one. Once we have throttle number one rolled up to the idle stop, we can use the same exact procedure for engine number two. Now we are ready to turn on inverter number 2, and generator number 2, as well as the bus interconnect for battery number 2. Turn off fuel prime for engine number 2. The next part is important, and many sim pilots get hung up here. The idle stop system in the 220s are unique. Notice the idle stop switch on the collective box. You will need to unlock each throttle from its idle position. This system uses a relay with a 5 second delay. Once you unlock one of the throttles, then you have 5 seconds to move past the idle stop. Unlock idle stop number 1, and slowly roll the throttle up a bit. You can do both at the same time if you wish. Once both throttles are unlocked from idle, then slowly roll them up until the rotor RPM stabilizes at 96%. Rotor RPM has stabilized. 
Now you can bump up the RPM to 100% with the increase, decrease switch located on the collective here. Sim.com. We hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, have fun.